What's up, YouTube? It is dark. I'm going to cut my light on for a few seconds because this um, video will only be for a few seconds. But, okay, so I'm a big fan of Unia. Uh, I, my words are getting slurred. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, and as a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, I try to find the best ways to win any duel the and just look awesome doing it um i watch all the shows from Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, Yu-Gi-Oh Zexel, um Yu-Gi-Oh Arc 5 and Yu-Gi-Oh Reigns. I also seen some of the movies. Um i do play the card game. Um but um I, I came across something I've never noticed before. It's a card that I have never seen before. And I read the effect on it. And this card can very easily be the most powerful card ever. It's called, um, ah, dang it. Topologic Tribuna. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But basically, it is a um, link effect card. Um, so basically, this card's effect, they, okay, it has no attack, no defense. It's kind of a monster, and it's kind of not. It has no star points at all. Um, nothing. The only thing it has on it, it's kind of a monster card because it's not a trap or a spell card. But it doesn't say anything on it that makes it a monster card. It's kind of weird the way it's got it set up. But, um... But it's called a Link card, I guess. Um... This is something I've never seen before. And it's awesome. Like, the effect on it. If a card is special summon... No. Yeah. When a card is special summon... You can um, target um, all of your um, opponent set cards, spell, trap, or monster cards. Um, and um, banish them, and each card that is destroyed will take 500 points of damage now if he has all five spell and trap cards and all five monster spaces filled up this card will win you the game automatically because you start out with um i believe it's eight thousand um life points so five hundred times ten that's um so 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 1,300, um, I mean, no. Why did I say 1,300? Okay, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, 3,500, um, 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, Five hundred, uh, five thousand six hundred. I mean, uh. okay. So I believe it's six thousand total. I, I mean, I'm kind of slow today. Um, I'm having tr trouble. Th I'm not having trouble thinking. I'm just obviously I'm tired. Um, rough day. I actually finally got me a job, so that is awesome. Um, getting, I, I actually got paid, um, Sunday, so that was awesome, um, but yeah, I'm kind of exhausted, that's why I'm blurring a lot, but anyways, if you play this card right, you can very easily destroy your opponent with one hit, obviously it's not going to be on for... I mean, it is possible. It is possible for the opponent to get their entire field um, filled up with 
like depending on what monsters they have their effects they can very easily use a card effect and summon another card and use that card effect to summon another card and then a card effect another card and then lay all spell and trap cards down so it is kind of possible it's very unlikely unlikely to do it but it is kind of possible but it's very unlikely for a opponent to get their entire side filled up in just one turn um but um anyways this card is the has to be the most powerful card ever just because of its fact I mean I'm not sure if it, this effect can be cancelled out or not because obviously this card is very new to me um, but it, it is just awesome I can't believe I stumbled across this somebody was actually selling it on Facebook so I, I'm not going to get it just because I ain't got enough money to get it I, um, even though I would like to be able to get stuff I want at this um, current moment in time I cannot afford it I got bills um, to pay I got just light bills um, house bills um, groceries that's pretty much all my money is being spent on anymore ever since I moved out on my own that's all my money is being spent on I don't have the pleasure of cable, internet. Um, I do have my phone, but my mother actually pays for my phone bill. Um, which that's going to be ending pretty soon. Um, and I'm going to have to pay for my phone bill unless I don't want a phone. I mean, I can live without a phone, but there's certain things I do need it for. Um, but yeah, um, I, I cannot afford to be getting stuff I want. If I could afford it, I would definitely get that card. I would, I would recommend it to anybody. Um, I actually cut my hair short. I'm trying to grow back out the back. Um, once the back gets about to here, this time I'm going to do it right. I'm going to keep this um, short until the back gets down here. Then I'm going to let this grow out. Because it didn't look right with the um, back being so short. And the top part being grown out like it was. It didn't look that great. So I'm going to try to let the back grow out a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to start letting the top grow out once the back gets down to here and I'm going to start styling my pomp and stuff like that have like the mullet in the back pomp up front um, fade the sides I'm kind of fading them right now not really but kind of um so yeah um my my hair is short today and I hate it. But I got a desired haircut that I want to try out and I've been wanting to try it out for a while but anytime I try to something happens and it, it either starts looking bad so I cut it or, um, I mean, I go through the awkward phase of the hair growth a lot. Um, and I decide to just redo it. Um, or somebody else kind of ends up forcing me into getting it cut. Like, when I was staying with my mother, um, my grandmother, she, uh, came down and in order to go visit with her and my people and my aunt Martha and stuff like that she forced me to cut it and then I mean I love her but while I was up there she tried to get me to do so much like make so much changes as my not like life changes but personality changes 
it's one thing to do life changes because you want to become a better person but to try to change somebody's personality change who they are that's just not right um i love her to death but um she tried to get me changed so much about myself um Um, which she's gotten better, I guess. But, um, yeah. I still have those chocolates from, I think it was Easter. <coughs> no, I got those. I don't eat chocolate. My mother brought them to me, brought them over to my house, and she gave them to me. I'm like, did you forget I don't eat chocolate um, when I was in high school I actually plan on this video being only a couple of seconds just talk about the car but when I was in high school and at somewhat in middle school um, I would tell people um, because a lot in middle school nobody really worried about me and the decisions I made or really anything like that I wasn't very popular in middle school I wasn't very popular in high school, but I had a lot more people surrounded, and in high school, I was that type of kid. I got along with everybody, and everybody got along with me. Um, not popularity, but just like, I can't explain it. Um, but, um, yeah, but anytime uh, I say I don't like chocolate, one of my friends would go like, we can no longer be friends. I hate you. I'm like, why do you hate me? In fact, you should love me even more. Because now I'm going to automatically get chocolates for uh, Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas. And who would I give them to other than you? Like, I, I'm pretty much going to be giving you all my chocolates now. <laughs> any chocolates I get and go to my best friends like why would you hate me you should love me even more just because I hate chocolate and they, they go like I didn't see it that way I'm sorry I love you <laughs> like the moment I said that they just screamed out I love you <laughs> and then like one of my friends even went as far as like get like just wrapping their arms around me and giving me a hug um, it was crazy. I, I miss my, um, I, I miss being in school. <laughs> um, I'm wanting to save up, go to college and stuff like that. Hopefully I can save up pretty soon. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, I had a lot of great childhood memories and, um, high school memories, middle school memories, elementary school memories, just memories of me being a child um, that were awesome. It, and I kind of miss those days. Um, I, I should probably, what's today? Yeah, I should do a story time Tuesday. Just, just tell things that I'm liking stuff that happens but um yeah I remember um this one time I, I believe I was yeah I was in middle school at the time um we did this thing um no, I wasn't even in middle school. It was kind of like summer school and kind of wasn't. It was like we went to school. Like we went to the school building kind of thing. I was living in North Carolina at the time where we normally had school at. Um, they kind of shut down that building now. It's, it's no longer a school. Um, but during the summertime, we'll go there. I mean call it summer school just because it's at school with them but it's not summer school because normally summer school you go there to get your grades up so you could attend next year um 
and you do lots of work during summer school this wasn't like that you pretty much go to the school building during the summertime um, and do nothing but go on field trips um, but um, I remember um, there was this um, one field trip we went to um, my mind just suddenly went blank I can't remember what I was going to say <laughs> but um oh it's not what I was going to say but it is um another awesome thing that happened while I was at that summer school kind of place one of the field trips we went to we basically went to these field trips like Carowinds and Wet n Wild um Wet n Wild is kind of similar to Carowinds. It's a water park up there in North Carolina. Um, but we went to both of them. Anyways, um, we went to Wet n Wild. They had, I believe it was, it was one of the two. We went to both of them, but I can't remember which ones had which. Which one? But anyways, there was this one twin slide, like, they call it the twin slides. These two sort of identical slides that connect to each other. Um, kind of like the twin towers kind of thing. Um, one came a little bit lower, but it was equally as long and kind of went steeper. So then the other one went up a little bit higher, made some curves and stuff like that. Uh, you, you get to decide which side go down and just like phew, like it was awesome um, like literally we went about going down the slide we were like um 30 stories in the air right it only took us two seconds to get down the slide that's how fast the slide shot us down like we we're like phew, like uh, we were so high up and just to go down that slide it was like we we're probably going about a good five miles a second kind of thing or whatever um then there was like this one um it was a um kind of ramp you get in the inner tubes there's no sides to support you like it's just a straight like ramp kind of like um a skateboard ramp but it's big blue made of uh, I guess it's plastic or whatever um, and you get on the tubes the water's going down the ramp up and down and like you get on them and this I don't know how it did it without you falling off nobody has ever fallen off of it I guess it has kind of like these slants where um it basically keeps in the way the water runs it keeps the um inner tube where it goes only to certain parts of the slide um i guess that's how it works but there's nothing supporting you told you also it gets kind of scary um going down but it is awesome it is worth it i loved it that was like my favorite ride there it was it was like a a half pipe sort of thing where you get on the inner tubes and just um, then they had the wave pool that was pretty awesome I think my muscles are deformed now um, yeah but as soon as I can cash this check, I'll be going to the gym, though. But my muscles are kind of formed the way they are. Like, you look at that, you know I have muscle right there. Um, just the way my arms are shaped. But, um, the way it comes, normally the muscles bulge more towards the center. My muscle goes upwards like it normally does on normal people's muscles, but then just keeps on continuing back. 
um, because normally they bulge in the center like that. Mine goes all the way back here, kind of. Instead, of just starting right, stopping right there, and bulging. But that is awesome. I am actually. I'm surprised of how far I came in such a short time. 2015, I was 450 pounds, nothing but fat. Just blubber. And I was I wasn't ashamed of my body. I mean, I was ashamed of the health I was in and I wanted to make myself better. But I wasn't those type of people. I was ashamed of my body and like I'm like okay, I'm fat. So um, don't call me fat ever again. I hate you. I wasn't that type of person. I wasn't the type of person. I would actually go walking on the highway. Like, uh, whenever I go to the stores and stuff like that, I would walk on a hot day. I would take my shirt off. And I'm actually happy of where I'm getting to. I want to get better, though. I am going to keep on pushing myself. I'm going to push myself past my limits, man. Um... I just got way off topic here. I was talking about the Yu Gi Oh card. And then I started going about my filters and my body, like my muscle and my fat and stuff like that. I'm just way off topic today. I can't help it. I'm excited. I had a good day. I had a great day. Um, I'm going to go cash this check tomorrow. I'm going to set me up a bank account. I'm going to get me a gym membership. I I got a job like last week or this yeah, I guess it would con be considered last week because today is like Tuesday. I got paid Sunday, so I guess it would still be considered last week. Maybe. No, Sunday is the beginning of this week, so it is considered this week. Um, but yeah. So I got a job, I got paid. I'm I'm like, um I do need to get my house clean though. Um I did get my now that I have a job, now that I have more ways of getting out, I will not get that depressed again. It it is very unlikely. It, and if I do, it's not gonna be anytime soon. Um but I I got myself in such a depressed mood um, that I really didn't do anything and I let my house get a complete disaster and now that I'm not depressed it's I don't know where to start it's like I wanna do it I need to do it um, but now it's just like I don't even know where to start it's just that bad now um, I, I can't believe I let myself get like that. I can't believe I let myself get so depressed and just get like that. But I'm definitely going to try to force myself to do it. Um, why in the world? I got some sort of knot right there. No, it's not a zit. What is that? But, um, yeah, I'm just super excited. Um, I definitely need to turn this light off, though. Pretty soon. Because my light bill. Okay, my light bill. I got in my light bill back down last month it was like 200 something and that's not good because normally my light bill doesn't get nowhere over 130 145 um, I my sometimes I'm able to get my light bill down to $50 um, so Luckily, I got it down. It is now at one um, fifty right now, one fifty two. Um, so that is good. But I do need to get it down lower. Um, uh, if it's it's good where it's at, like 
but you always got to try to get it as low as possible. Um, as you can see, I'm the type of person, I, I care a lot about how my money is being spent. I don't want to be the stupid person and waste his money because all growing up and being through high school and even after high school I got called immature a lot um, I, I they said I wouldn't be able to do it on my own um, and they said um, I wouldn't know how to which I kind of don't know how to do it um, because I would never had the luxury of being taught I'm having to teach myself as I go um, and I'm still learning and I am come a long way but I am not immature um, I am actually very smart very wise um, I let myself seem like I'm dumber than what I am not really dumber but I, I actually don't show su stupidity that much. Um, I do show immatureness because obviously it, it's not really immature. It's just me, uh, more of me just doing stupid stuff, just to have fun. Like I go dancing around in the mall. Um, I do that. Uh, I do like crazy dances and. Um, that one lizard dance I started doing that just took my shirt off one day and just started doing that there's like this new vine on you, uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever where it's got like this green lizard dude that's really skinny doing this weird dance I'd take my shirt off one day and just started doing that um, out of nowhere I, I mean I like to have fun and a lot of people see that as immature I'm actually very mature. I'm very smart. A lot of times I don't let it show unless I need to. Um, I know when the right places are to be mature and I know when uh, I know I need to balance myself between work and play. Like whenever I'm not I like know when to be serious and when to um, have fun kind of deal that's the type of person I always been but a lot of people never get the chance of seeing my maturity um, and they just assume that I'm stupid and because uh, now people now that I'm living by myself people are still thinking hey this this dude he can't do it he won't do it he's not going to be able to do it I'm going to be able to do it um, and it, it's all about me thinking logically. I mean, I can have fun all I want, but I have to know these smart decisions. If it was between me buying a new game system and me, um, buying groceries, I'm going to choose groceries. If it was between me, um... I'm able to afford it now, so I can do it, but it's not going to be a every month thing. If I feel like I need to, I'm going to, if I feel like I can't afford it anymore, and I need to pay more attention on bills, I'm going to stop getting a gym membership. I'm just going to let that month go by and just pay my bills. Um, so if it's between bills and gym, I'm going to pick bills. I'm able to do it right now, but the moment I'm not able to do it, I'm not going to continue doing it. I'm going to go towards builds. Um, I'm going to start thinking logically, like saving. Um, even if there's, I'm caught up on everything, bills, groceries, food, um, and, not, and I have a little bit left over, not just spend it automatically, but save it up and use it as like, so I can't afford to get the stuff I want. I for me to do that would be to make a stupid decision and have to pay for it in the future. I might not have to pay for it right then and there, 
I may not have to pay for it within a few weeks or a few months, but I will pay for it if I make that decision to do that. Um, I can't afford to make stupid decisions. Um, I would like to be able to go out, buy a lot of new video games, buy comics, um, pay for a gym membership every single month, um, get new books, um, and all that stuff. Really, the only thing I like is comics, video games, um, exercise, um, and books. And I love that stuff, but I can't afford it. For me to do that, even if I can afford it, it's going to hit me in the long run if I make that decision too early. Um, I have to wait until I'm sure that I can afford to make that decision and not have any consequences in the future. Um, I gotta think wisely about this stuff. I am going to get me a gym membership this month. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it next month or even the month after that. If I am able to do it, I will do it. If I'm not able to do it, I mean, I gotta think ahead on this stuff. It's it's just... And as far as grocery buying, I even look around and look for the lowest possible thing there. Um, like cheese, they'll have some $5 ones, some $2 ones, some $1 ones. They have some of these 98 cent packs of cheese um, I have to be sure I'm getting the lowest price possible um, if I'm going for eggs lowest price possible um, if I'm going for bread lowest price possible it doesn't matter how it tastes I mean, pretty much, it's all the same stuff. I mean, there is cheese out there that don't taste the same. And some of it tastes rubbery. But most of it is the same stuff no matter which brand you get. It's just cheaper. Um, even if you think it's different, it's not different. Um, I have to think on that stuff a lot. And to be sure I'm being wise about this stuff <coughs> if I'm getting hamburger meat can't afford to get none of that premium rare um, hamburger meat the guy get the cheapest one possible um, I'm actually thinking about it's going to be really cheap though um, just to do this, I'm thinking about going vegetarian and getting my protein through protein shakes. So yeah, I I mean I did go vegetarian before, but that was when I was w living with my mother. Um, it was actually while I was in this um kind of hospital room, mess halls. It's a hospital for behavioral people. Um, I wasn't always where I needed to be. I acted out a lot. I ran away a lot when I was younger. But when I was in this place called William S. Hall's um, Behavioral Hospital, I actually put myself on a vegetarian diet. And I was in that hospital for about four or five, maybe six months. Um, I got out of the hospital. I uh, stayed on that diet for another three months before my mom just stopped buying me vegetarian stuff. And I never got why she stopped buying me vegetarian stuff. So that was eight months. She claims it was because she caught me eating meat. I'm like, no. I was not eating meat at all when I was on the vegetarian diet. The only thing I would eat is eggs. I mean, I didn't even eat fish just because I don't like fish. Vegetarians are allowed to eat eggs, fish, and milk. Um, now, if you're a vegan, you're not allowed to eat eggs, fish, and milk. Um, 
but I was a vegetarian, so I was allowed to eat eggs, fish, milk, which I didn't even eat fish because I don't like fish. Um, so, yeah, I didn't eat any meat. She claims I ate meat, and that's why she stopped buying me vegetarian stuff when I was staying with her. And that was when I was about 14, 15. Um, but then my brother goes vegetarian, and she kept on buying him. Uh, he was about, he was also, I think, 15, 16, whenever he became vegetarian. Um, and then all the way up until he was 19 and moved out, that's whenever, it wasn't until he moved out of the house that she stopped buying him vegetarian stuff. I'm like, why? I mean, she, she still claims to this day that, um, I ate meat. I'm like, when I was on that vegetarian diet, I never ate meat other than eggs. And that's just because vegetarians are allowed to eat eggs. Um, so, now that I'm not living with her, I'm going to try to put myself back on a vegetarian diet. Because also, when I was on that vegetarian diet, that is when I lost a lot of my weight. Um... Which then when I got off the vegetarian diet, I gained a lot of it back. Which now I'm losing a lot of weight even off the vegetarian diet. So putting myself on the vegetarian diet might do me a lot more good. I mean, I lost 50 pounds in like, um, I guess three weeks it was. 50 pounds in three weeks. I mean, that was good. Um, so, um, yeah, I think I'm going to start putting myself back on a vegetarian diet. So, that would also be another wise choice because a vegetarian diet you're not spending as much on um you get a lot more out of it and it fills you up quicker because it's more healthier than just eating loads of grease um i mean meat it is healthy but a lot of times the meat that they have is filled loaded with grease and it's hard to actually drain all that grease out I mean, I managed to do it, and that's part of the reason why I do not like grease. I have to be sure all of that grease is drained out of that meat before I cook it. Um, and while I'm cooking it, any grease that um, goes on the pan, I'm constantly pouring it. Um, I got a little cup that I pour it all into, so that way my, my burgers have no grease in them whatsoever. I mean, they still have a lot of flavor. They actually taste better like that. Um, they just don't have grease. Um, but vegetarian diets will be cheaper and a lot more healthier because they don't have grease. Vegetarian burgers, vegetarian hot dogs, vegetarian ribs, um, vegetarian chicken. I do not like chicken, but vegetarian chicken probably tastes good. Um, I just get you one of those I don't know how I mean I get vegetarian burgers and vegetarian hot dogs just because all you have to do is pretty much shape them like the object and uh, make them have the same texture and stuff like that they taste very good though I love them but vegetarian ribs, ribs is an actual body part. Chicken is an actual animal. So I don't get how they make vegetarian ribs and chicken. Um, burgers can be made out of anything. Hot dogs can be made out of anything. They got turkey dogs, beef dogs, uh, pork dogs, um, deer sausage. 
there's I I that's probably going to be the only thing I'm going to hate about putting myself on a vegetarian diet. I cannot have no more venison. <laughs> that's probably going to be the only thing I hate about vegetarian. Now that I know what venison is, I mean I always know what venison is, but it's when I first put myself on the vegetarian diet, I did not know what venison tastes like or how it felt like or anything like that. Since then I know what venison is, I'm like, Ugh, I love it. It wasn't that long after I got myself off, or after my mom got myself off the vegetarian diet that I learned what venison was. Like, I actually tasted it. So, that's going to be the only thing I hate about putting myself back on a vegetarian diet. I cannot have venison. Maybe I can cheat, like, every few months and just taste it. Like, vegetarian all year, every year, other than once every three months. Or once every four months. No, once every year I can have venison. One time every year. Uh, that's going to be the only thing I hate about being on a vegetarian diet. Um. But yeah, I just got to think smart about this stuff. How am I getting myself way off track every single time? I was talking about my... Uh, first, I was talking about um, the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Then, I was talking about my childhood. Then, I was talking about... Um, bodybuilding and all the fat I gained. And then, I'm talking about diets. I'm like... How do I keep on getting myself so off topic? Um, I was talking about before I was talking about um, diet I was talking about um, thinking smart and spending my money wisely which talking about buying vegetarian foods was a part of that um, thinking smart and spending wisely it's cheap it's affordable but then I started going more in I'm like how do I keep on getting myself way off topic <sighs> but um yeah that is addicting doing that with toothpick Just like flipping it in your mouth. Make it look like I swallowed it. <laughs> I didn't though. I'm stupid. But um. Yeah I need to turn this lamp off. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But um. I don't know how I got so off topic. So many times I'm. But yeah.